Being broke is intentional. Being rich is intentional. It's not a mistake. It's not the system. It's 2022. All of you can do whatever it is that you want to do when you want to do it. But it's all based on you. I know for me and mine, we going up. All that gambling and junk, cut out. Not interested. I'm good. I lived that life already. It was cool. We had a good time. It was fun. We had through life. And when I go to the casino day every today, every once in a while, we might throw the dice at the table or whatever. I'm not bringing a whole bunch of, I'm not carrying around $50,000 like we used to carry when we used to go to the casino before. I'm not doing that crap again. That's silly. That's the type of stuff that it gets you killed. Everything I do is intentional. Everything. Make the decision. Your wife, your unborn kid, everybody is dependent on you and it's all on you. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon first. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. And if you want a personal coaching call, make sure you tap in with your boy at AntonDaniels.com and send me an email from the site and we're going to get it popping. I'm never, ever in my life going broke again. The first time that I went broke, I went broke as a result of the 2008 recession. Well, let me back that up. <clears throat> I went broke as a result of surrounding myself with the wrong people that influenced me to call off of work. Look at Rita, cragging up. Influenced me to call off of work, get a fake doctor's note, and then the recession hit right after that. So my recession was before the real recession. But I didn't have to go through that. Thankfully, it was a blessing in disguise. And it was a lesson that God wanted to teach me. And the lesson was you have to be very intentional and divest yourself against certain people in order to continue to level up. Thankfully, God didn't give me the million dollar checks or the million dollar investments at that time because I would have fumbled it hard. I would have been one of these other young dudes because I was out here living life fast, doing whatever I wanted to do, buying all of the jewelry, flying back and forth and stuff. And we was living a life. Thankfully, we didn't have a kid. That was of this age. And then they have to suffer and see what it is that their parents go through. And I wouldn't be able to provide for her college and things like that. I was able to fail, in my opinion, from God in a controlled environment that helped me to learn the lesson. And I was young enough to fail and still recover it and then be able to come and give you guys the insight and the information as a result of it. But I'm never, ever, ever in my life going broke again. Which means that it has nothing to do with how I feel. It has everything to do with how that translates into me being intentional and taking care of business. I'm going to secure every single bag. You know, the thing that failing has done in my life is that it prompted me to have a work ethic that's second to none. The, the one thing that people can never say. The one thing that people can never say is that they work harder than me. And I will take a dude that work hard over a dude that's talented 10 times out of 10. Because the dude that work hard, they're going to be better. They can overcome whatever it is deficiency in their life. Right? You ain't got to be the smartest, but you got to be in the library before everybody else get up. And then get to work a half hour early. I was coaching a dude yesterday, and he said, Anton, my first day of work is coming. I appreciate you for helping me, coaching me through getting this job. Young dude. He said, I want to get there like... You know, what you think? 10, 10 minutes early? I said, listen, if you're not at least 15 minutes early, you're not on time. Being on time is late and being early is on time. You control the narrative. And then we went through and he said, yeah, I want to overwork and this and that and so on and so forth. I said, OK, but be careful because you don't want to overwork to where people start to hate you. You want to silently be able to do that and then come to work and then be sociable because you want to make sure that you fit in because people do things and they promote you because they like you, not necessarily because you have the best product or you work the hardest. I'm giving people the game every single day and the coaching sessions and the Patreons and that's just surface level. But at the same time, what I'm trying to emphasize to you guys is that I take every single learned experience in my life and I implement it so that not only am I never broke again, but I get richer and richer every single year. Every single year, I would say for the past at least eight to nine years, I've made more money than the year before. I'm never going broke again. I max out my 401k. Well, not even my 401k, my Roth 401k. You know what it is. You've seen my check stub in the Patreon. You've seen my W2 in the Patreon. 
I'm giving you the game and I'm showing you what my life is like so that you can learn from both my mistakes and my successes. I'm showing you my W-2s and things like that because I want to inspire you and help you to realize that it is possible for an average C student community college graduate to get to the type of bags that I have. I show you when I take you along for me to spend $40,000 to buy this watch, which is worth at least $10,000 more than what I paid for it, because I want to help you to understand that you can enjoy life and accumulate assets that appreciate and beat the rate of inflation. It's so many ways in which you can finesse. I dropped the video on the Patreon about how it is that I was able to leverage and finesse Carvana legally because once my lease was up, I was able to do certain things in order to be able to secure a bigger bag just by being intentional, just by having the information, just by surrounding myself. And this is this is the funny thing. That wasn't even my idea. I was letting you guys pick my car based off of what it is that I taught you. And then I read a comment because I'm participating and I'm paying attention to what people are saying in the discord and the Patreon and things like that. And they said, Anton, do this. I went and checked it out, researched it. And voila, an extra four or five thousand dollars in my pocket just by not doing this one thing and then making this other decision. Just the decision generated an extra four to five thousand dollars in my pocket. Every single thing you do is intentional and it's your fault. It's going to be your fault if you're successful. It's going to be your fault if you're a failure. Either way, we not running in the victim Olympics. We in the gym doing two a days. Right after I jump off to this live stream, I'm going straight into the gym. And if you're following me on Instagram, you already know because it's going on my story. I'm not going to talk about how much weight I'm losing. I'm not going to talk about my progress. I'm just going to tell you I'm in the gym. Because I understand that the next level of my life, the next level of my platform, the next level of my visibility, the next level of everything that I'm doing is going to be based off of the fact that I need to get myself together from a fitness perspective. And I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. I'm just going to do what I got to do or I'm going to own it on the other side. But either way is my fault. One thing I know for sure. Two things is for certain. Three, I'm never, ever, ever going to be in the victim Olympics or be broke again. You ain't got to teach me the same lesson twice. <laughs> a lot of y'all can't get to the next level because God is not going to let you shoot yourself in the foot. Meaning, if you do not get the lesson, you're just going to have to keep repeating it until you can get over it and you can get to the next level. Because he can't give you anything that you can't handle. You're going to wind up getting yourself. If you got famous today and you got $2 million tomorrow, you'd probably kill yourself. Because you don't even understand what comes along with it. Every single day I understand that I don't have to ask for stuff because the stuff comes along with the work. Me showing that I have faith is the works behind it. I don't have to ask for that stuff. I pray for good character. I pray for the things that I can't control. I'm very, very attentive and I'm intentional and I'm paying attention. And then I give you the game and I share it so that you can take it along with you and continue to level up in your own life. But you're going to have to do something first. I can give you all the game in the world. You can tune into these live streams. You can jump onto the Patreon. But if you don't actually work through the videos, if you don't actually join the Discord, if you're not showing up to the Patreon exclusive meets when I'm in your city, then what, what good is it? What good is it? I told y'all well over a month ago that y'all need to get yourselves accountability partners. I wonder how many of y'all actually did it. I didn't tell you that for me. I don't get nothing out of you getting an accountability partner. It's to hold you accountable because often at times we don't do the things that's in our own best interest, but we will do it if somebody is holding us accountable. Mm -hmm. If we have to be accountable to somebody else, we often at times will pick better instead of just doing the things that make us feel a certain type of way at that time. Being broke is intentional. Being rich is intentional. It's not a mistake. It's not the system. It's 2022. All you can do, whatever it is that you want to do when you want to do it, but it's all based on you. I know for me and mine, we going up. All that gambling and junk, cut out. Not interested. I'm good. I lived that life already. It was cool. We had a good time. It was fun. We had through life. And when I go to the casino day every today, every once in a while, we might throw the dice at the table or whatever. I'm not bringing a whole bunch of I'm not carrying around fifty thousand dollars like we used to carry when we used to go to the casino before. I'm not doing that crap again. That's silly. That's the type of stuff that gets you killed. 
Everything I do is intentional. Everything. Make the decision. Your wife, your unborn kid, everybody is dependent on you. And it's all on you. And it's so much sweeter on this side. 